Well, in, in, in my uh, personal belief, it is not, it's not practical to repair a canister if it were damaged. Uh, if it had a through wall, through wall damage, first you prevent it, but in the most unlikely circumstance, if that canister were to develop a leak, uh, let's be realistic, you have to find it, that, that crack where it might be, and then find a means to repair it, you, you will have, in, in, in the face of millions of curies of radioactivity that is coming out of the canister, uh, we think it's not, not yeah. that forward. However, let me, let me uh, uh, you can easily, easily isolate that canister in a cask that keeps it cool, and basically you have provided in a next confinement boundary, you're not relying on the canister. So that is, that is a practical way to deal with it, and that's the way we advocate for our clients. My personal position is that a, a canister that develops a microscopic crack, and that all it takes is a microscopic crack, you're going to get get release to precisely locate it. Itself, the location where it will occur is, is a, a tall order. And then, if you try to repair it uh, remotely by welding, and of course, remotely you can go and weld. But the problem with that is that you create a rough surface, which becomes a nucleation site for foes and down the road. ASME Section 3, Class 1 has some very significant requirements on making repairs of class one structures like the canister. So I, as, as a pragmatic technical solution, I don't advocate repairing the canister. Uh, 